kind of drugs is the bass player on to get so shredded? Don't panic. It's all organic. <laughs> it's going pretty good. We're almost at the end. We had two days off. Uh, we chilled here at John's. He's our original drummer. I haven't seen him in like two years. I'm John. I'm their buddy. <laughs> they tell me what to do and I do it. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Jean-Francois Lacerte. I'm a uh, co-founder of the band with Blake. We were in another band at the time and it dissolved and Blake wanted to continue chemistry that we had in music so uh, we basically just uh, kept kept showing up to practice and it turned into what, what was eventually a uh, Howl and Holler. I'm going to say about four and a half years ago at this point. Yeah, something like that. I have a very long term relationship with, with Blake since he, I've known Blake since he was 12 years old. He's like a little brother to me basically. So I've been in bands my whole life. Blake used to come when he was like, you know, 14, 15 sometimes to our practices with my other bands. It was weird because at that time I knew he played guitar, but I just, you know, I thought he played guitar for a while. You had lessons and then you just kind of, you know, things kind of you grow out of stuff. But he was always coming to practices and we surfed together a lot and stuff like that. I had been playing with a guitar player for a long, long time, like 20 years. We just, you know, been in a bunch of bands and we're just good, like best friends at the time. We decided, okay, we've got new material. We want to get something going. Uh, but we really wanted to find somebody that uh, fit us on a personal level, you know what I mean? Some almost like a family type member. You know, we didn't want to just get another person outside of the frame of what we were comfortable with. Mark, my friend, he he out of nowhere he goes, "Well, how about Blake?" Yeah, what? Like, of course. You know what I mean? Like, why not Blake? Oh, dude. <laughs> Man. So we played, and, and the thing about Blake was, uh, you know, he, he's a guitar player. You know, so he picks up the bass because. Uh, Mark was the guitar player. Blake's got a natural talent, more than he even understands. He, he doesn't have any clue of how good he really is, you know. So he just picks up this bass and starts killing it, and and we're playing a, a, a pretty aggressive style of music. We're both fans of, of Clutch, and, but we were we we're playing like the old Clutch, the original Clutch, which is super aggressive, you know. And it was all good, uh, and then it was like Blake. I could tell Blake because he's he's younger as a musician. And it was almost like, um, I always say it's like his, his, like his first girlfriend kind of thing. You know, it's like he's in this band, we do some good things, we start to get some momentum, and then all of a sudden, it's like, all right, we're doing the same thing every day, and I like this kind of music, but we can't do that because we're doing this, and it's kind of like stay the course, you know? Things got complicated um, with the other member of the band, um, his work, it kind of took a, a, a break. And in the meantime, I wanted to keep playing and Blake wanted to keep playing. So essentially what we did is we, we just kept showing up to practice, you know, like we practiced quite a bit actually at that time at Blake's house, we were practicing on an average of, uh, like three times a week, probably on average, mostly four. Blake, you know, picked up the guitar and I was able to hear Blake really like sit down and, and relax and just play the guitar for really the first time like I'm like you know what does he got you know let me I never I've seen him play the bass I've seen him tinker with the guitar but I've never really sat down with him and go okay let's let's play some music you know and here he is and he's just jumps into this like blues rock style and and it was what naturally came out and then he then then you know immediately we shifted over to some like covers and stuff so he started like playing other people's stuff and, and sounding like them Blake loves blues like I do, you know, blues rock, and and so he's like, well, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play my guitar in this style for the band, you know, and and or I'm gonna do it, you know, this way because we were, we're influenced, you know, and and we want to imitate our, our our heroes, you know what I mean? So we want to be like that, and and he was trying it out and stuff like that, and and eventually I just said, hey Blake, man, I go, I go, just play you, just play what you do, like take it from me, what that is is just as good as everything else you're listening to and and it's your own and and embrace it you know and he was like right on he just kind of you know flipped the switch on everything else and just kind of came into himself this is what i'm going to play from the heart and then all this influence of course came through but and then i saw i go oh man that, I go, that guy can play we were so involved at that time when we started hell and holler because we knew we had a good like there's a good chemistry and a good sound coming together you know what i mean and and the songs that we developed together they were solid songs. So yeah, I knew right away that, that you know, Bl Blake was on my page. I'm actually, uh, I'm kind of a control freak sometimes, you know what I mean? And, 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 but 
Blake was meeting me, you know what I'm saying? And going, well, you know, this and that. And so we're just bouncing back. So as a result of us, like, almost like uh, just bouncing off each other, essentially, we got a bunch of stuff done really quick. Things happen in life. Uh, I got a job offer. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm a lot older than Blake. I'm like I said, I'm like his older brother. I knew the reality for me to leave my family with kids and the responsibilities that I have that I wasn't going to be, I would be a hindrance to the progression of, of what was going to happen with Helen Holler. You know, Blake has always respected the fact that, you know, that I was, uh, you know, an intricate part of the, the duo that came up, developed the songs and developed the, the band. But he did all the legwork, you know, as far as the band development and stuff like that. Essentially, when I, I sort of made the decision uh, to, to, to leave, and it was, you know, Blake and I were like brothers. It's just like, all right, well, I, John, of course, you know, you got to do what's right for the family. When I had to make the decision to leave Helen Holler, and Blake called me and he goes, hey, man, I want your blessing to keep this going. He didn't need it, but, you know, being Blake, he asked. And I was like, hey, of course, I want you to keep going. Finally, I was in a band that, okay, maybe I wouldn't take part in the success of the band, but this music that I put so much hard work into with Blake and the memories that we had to make that music and those times that we spent together will now keep going. And for me, that was really important. Like, that's the ultimate goal here with, with Helen Holler. And, and it's just keep that music going so that I can go, it wasn't in vain. It's still there. You know, I can I can look at the painting, you know what I mean? And, and put the cover back on when I'm done. But now I'm seeing and I'm living sort of vicariously through, you know, the band and Blake. And, and he's like my little brother. I want nothing but the best for him and the band. It's leaving though. It won't be so bad going. But um, if you leave about an hour and 15, you should be good. So it's right there, yeah. So like... Hello there. We are here in Raleigh, North Carolina to play at the Poor House. Looks like it's gonna be a fun night, nice big stage. It's gonna be fun. What's up, Raleigh? We're so stoked to be here. Was it so cheap? I take my drunk. The crawfish fight him in the dark. The band is playing, chairs were flying. You said a girl in the corner crying. Hold on, day with nothing to eat. Give me vodka. Hold on, I have to burp. Okay. Um, yeah, we're here in Andrews, North Carolina. We've been hanging out with the townspeople this afternoon, and everybody's awesome. And um, not to mention, if you just if you just go like this, it's all mountains everywhere. It's just amazingly gorgeous here. Yeah, we're here at Mountain Freedom Festival, the first annual. And um, yeah, this is, this is gonna be a good one.
wear them snakes? Do you wear them snakes? I'm tired. I had a lot of fun. Almost home. Uh, got some shows coming up at home here. August 7th at Guanabanas. August 30th over at Matthews Brewing Company. So more details to come on those dates.